Welcome to Deliver Us the Moon, everyone. Jason here, and I am super, super excited about this. I'm actually, I live streamed this when it first came out, but I want to start over because, one, the footage I used, I had my face too, I think it was too big, it was blocking most of the screen, and this is a very immersive game, so I want to actually redo it without my face blocking everything. So that's what we're going to do. So hopefully you guys are excited and let's get into Deliver Us the Moon. There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe land mass. And so here we are. Holy cow, there's a lot going on. So we, as humanity, we've just destroyed the planet. Oh. Moon man far crossing. A brave astronaut ventures to the moon. His mission to explore the lunar expanse. evacuation of the impacted area. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. That is a lot of stuff. For World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. Wow. We're ready to start the mission. Do you copy? Fossil fuel depletion worse than thought. WSA takeoff. MPT online. MPT transmits power from the moon to Earth. Wow, okay. So yeah, and then all of a sudden the lunar colony just stopped. And no one knows why. So let's, we're gonna, I guess our job is to go figure out what is going on. Well, let's get our space suit. Control to Sakuna One, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Mr. Tool. Oh, there you go. WSA, welcome. Our little Pip Boy. Confirm. Radio contact confirmed. 
Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Yeah, all right. So let's go get it. Open the door. Five years after the blackout, 2059. There she is, the Taurus Five. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. So we have to get over there and do that. Let's explore a little bit. Oh, let's scan this awesome thing. Database. The MPT network dish. So it doesn't look like it's in a good, uh, it's not a good standing there. Just hanging out. Let's run. Oh, we can't get over to there. Oh, this door is open. Let's check out this place. And I like how it turns to first... Oh, flush. Let's flush it. I like how it goes to first person when you're in, sh you know, sh small quarters. Like close quarters, it goes into first person. But when we're outside running around, it goes into third person. I love that. Oh, scan this. Database. A mother lost. Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role on the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. Ooh. So yeah, we're going to go find them too. All their belongings. Oh, we have pictures here. Miami, May 2043. Paris, September 2038. Wow, so like just all the big cities in the world are just being overtaken by these dust clouds. Well, let's go. Oh, we can scan this. Let's scan it. A monument marks the entrance of the Fosinkov Cosmodrome. And that's how you know it's Russian. The facility was abandoned until the Fortuna team made their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads, To the Stars. I was wondering, when we first played this, I was wondering why everything was in Russian. And that's why. It's, the Cosmodrome is actually a place over in Russia. It's the uh, launch facility over there. Oh, so let's go over here. Of course, it's not working. It's Russian. So let's get up there and fix that. Oh, get up there. Come on. The controls feel floaty, and this is supposed to be Earth. Like, I thought maybe it would feel floaty on uh, the moon when we get there, if we get there. But they're floaty down here, too, so I think they just it carries across. Now this should be working. Let's go down here and get going. Good, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Oh, over here this side? Nope. Over here, gotta hit the button? Yep. That is real it's dusty. Five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. You get the MPT back online. Yeah. We don't know that code yet, so let's go over here. If power's out, use the code 3548 for the door. 3548, remember that. That's what we have to use for this door over here. Punch that in. Oh, go back. Can I go back? Can I, I can't delete. Oh, wait, wait, C down below, okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. Like, oh no. 
correct. Of course it's correct. You guys just told me. Oh, well, it's really dark. Let's open these windows. That did not help at all. <laughs> God. Okay. All right. I guess it's just supposed to be dark. We we're supposed to use our this flashlight. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. And I'm leaving for good? I mean, do I get a choice in that? I don't want to leave for good. Let's see this. Oh, what's this? Missing. Isaac Johnson, PhD. Or Johansson, sorry. So he's missing. Can I jump over this? Nope, can't get over there yet. Open over here. Like how all the important stuff you can actually uh, scan. Determined to seek the truth about the 2054 blackout and restore the MPT. Whoa, God, whoops, wrong button. And restore the MPT connection. Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. Oh, look at that. It's a cool challenge coin. Look at that. In memoriam. In memoriam. Hygiene's malfunction. It's 2048. We got all this stuff. Let's move it along. Dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from the service after the hygiene's cryosleep cryo malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASE? I'm looking for a way to extract its holographic data, and I'm hoping you could help me out. In memoriam, those lost during the hygiene's malfunctions, June 10th, 2048. Don't forget, everyone, we lost, we've lost that day. Oh, what is this? Fluxite. Antidepressants. Oh, someone's depressed. Great. So let's explore a little bit more. Oh, it looks like this is the doorway over here, right? Lit up. So let's move this. Actually, we're going to put it next to this elevator because we're going to need this later. Sorry, minor spoilers there. So we're going to put it right there. This door is open, so let's check this out. I do have my flashlight on, and it is barely doing anything. I, did, I need a better flashlight. <laughs> okay, there's nothing around here. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Control center. Nothing in here. We're not going to go over there. We're going to actually check out over here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Jumped right over that thing. Oh, look at There's a little like a sound wave thing. I've heard three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. 
No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Network pillars, maybe did it. All right. Oh, and this is Claire's office slash the uh, conference room. Evacuation notice: Please proceed outside the four second off Cosmodrome facility between September fifteenth and sixteenth. Everyone in and around the facility must be ready outside this building at 0500 at the rendezvous. Up oh, we all they all uh, evacuated except for me. They left me here. I don't know why. Whoop, wait a minute. There's something over here. Oh, I just dropped a cup. <laughs> okay. Look at all these plans. Whoop, scan that rocket. A rocket model. Recruited straight out of the university. Claire Johansson designed the Taurus 5 rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. Oh, wait a minute, there's this note over here. Custody denied. Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Man, the Supreme Court is deciding custody battles? The court rules the father, Isaac Johansson, as the next of kin, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina Johansson after the mother, Elizabeth Johansson, untimely death. As her current guardian, you are ordained to ensure that Kathy is brought for safe passage to the moon to be reunited with her father, the Honorable Judge Richard Edge. That's not really a, an Edge kind of a decision there, man. I, they keep telling you, look at it, they keep showing you how to do the launch sequence. That's kind of, it should tell you that we're going to be launching a rocket and it's going to be complicated. It's all get out. Oh, let's always check underneath the, the stairs. There might be cool things underneath. I always check and there's nothing there. Dang it. So let's keep going. Nothing over there. Is this all? Oh, this is all lockers too. So nothing in here. Is this the control center? It is. In the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Oh, keep going. Objective. Close both hydrogen fuel valves. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Can I... Oh, I can't do that. It was shiny. Caught my eye. Sorry, guys. So let's go close those valves real fast. Oh, not to the left, to the right. Nothing over here. We can't pick up these boxes. Okay, great. I'm going to hit this elevator button because we're going to need it. Now let's also go up here. Let's turn this valve. Whoa. Got it. Now we got this one right here. Let's do it. Oh, gee. It just falls apart. That's useless. Thankfully, we have an elevator right here. So let's go down and get that other ladder. Oh, it's getting dark. Turn that light on. Where's my ladder at? Oh, right there. On the elevator, good. Let's go back up. Go over here. This person is super strong. This thing looks like it's heavy as heck. And they're just moving it with ease. Maybe there's wheels on the bottom. I just don't see them. 
Alright, go back up here. Let's turn off this valve. Perfect. So we're both turned off, so let's go launch this thing. The hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Prime the rocket. It's like one of those uh lawnmowers that you gotta push the little button like three times for it to to get primed up. Is that what it is? <laughs> let's turn the key. Oh, that storm's coming in. We better go. That's it. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now. Before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. Go, go, go. Gotta make it. Run all the way through. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh. Take a deep breath. Okay, come on, come on. I know you're tired. Go, go, go. We gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. Go, go, go. And hit the button. Gotta go. Get up there. We're gonna launch this thing. Rocket navigation system. We're here. Online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. All right. Flip all these switches. Ground launch sequencer started. Up, oh, retract the arm. Access arm Perfect. Got it. All right, perfect. We have, we got to aim for that blue s section. So it's A1, A3, 3, B3, B4, B3, B4. Boom. Up, oh, gotta move this one back. Ooh, barely, barely made that one. Holy cow. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Hit the button. Hydrogen burn off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Sending light for countdown. Rocket boosters ignition stop. Let's go. Ready in five, four, three, two, one. Two. Holy cow! Oh, oh, keep going. We're actually leaving. Oh, camera went offline. Great. Whoa. We in space yet? Oh, it's taking a long time to get out there into space. Holy cow. On our way. We're in space. Oh, we are in space. There's the sun. Can't see anything. Oh, there's the earth. Nothing? Can I see it? Oh, look at that. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. 
This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pierce and Claire. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. Once you're in the Oh, we have to go. Keep going. Flip that switch. Press that. Let's go.